Hello, this is Shane Drake, also known as Drakler on the forums. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the Boost Manager Plus software. I started on Eurodyne.ca, their website. I got a customer login. You have to contact Eurodyne and have a good reason to be able to get onto this area. But once you are there, you can download their a lot of their software which includes some maestro and some other things um, but in my case the boost manager plus software you just click into it and download it from there once it's downloaded uh, it'll pop up on your desktop much like this go through the install everything like that here's uh, what it looks like when you open it up first thing that pops up is the dashboard you've got your RPM boost boost target of course all these things you're gonna have to wire in to get these signals but you can just see some of the capabilities capabilities here you scroll over to the other tab the boost control settings and you've got your menu to adjust and control your boost your N75 valve your variable control valve you also get a little bit of debugging so you can do some tests some duty cycles um, and make sure everything's working correctly once you get out of this menu um, you can look at some of the options up here connect to boost controller disconnect upload to boost manager download to boost manager you can edit your fuel pump map now this option right here is your map for your pump that is in your tank your low pressure fuel pump or other pump you can control multiple pumps with this controller and this is just one of the many features one of the things that brought me into it because I'm running a DW300 in the tank of my Audi and this is gonna help me control that get the most out of that pump the second map here is for your methanol pump um, most people are gonna only use this it's uh, to control the pump that comes with the kit 200 PSI and you can edit the map there second is the GPO2 map GPO2 and GPO1 are your solenoid maps so GPO1 is your N75 your boost cycle map GPO2 is either going to be your solenoid for a meth solenoid which would be like an inline solenoid to create uh, prevent siphoning or whatever solenoid you might want you could you know shut off a pump turn on a pump you know basically another option could be a inline solenoid that shuts off at a certain PSI which will help B PSI build in the line and then when you start your spray you already have that pressure there ready to go and it'll help with atomization next over here we have start logging to file and stop logging to file and of course check for updates here is where I'm going to be bringing you next. It's the open help file. If we open that up, it brings us to the specifications for the kit. It talks about everything that is capable from this kit. Um, I've been told there may be more to come, but we will soon find out. The parts list is going to be what's in your boost manager controller, that kit, which is your unit the manager control unit the fuel pump harness methanol pump harness main wiring harness your map sensor connector harness six bar map sensor and USB connector cable pump and pump and injector kit would be your 200 psi methanol pump six foot of the tubing for that atomization injector nozzle push connection nozzle adapter and bulkhead fitting for mounting in reservoir and looky here it says optional display kit includes now this is something that was hinted at that may be released in the near future it's going to be a display that possibly shows something similar to this right here um, these values any of the things it'll tell you your boost duty cycles things like that now I'm not 100% on this I'm not sure if that's you know when what where but uh, seeing it here is 
proof that it's something that's in the works. So look out soon for a display, optional display that will come with this kit. So you no longer need to hook up a laptop to this. You can do all of this in car, all your logging, all your cycles, everything. And it might even eliminate the need for a boost gauge because you've got all that right here. You've got all that informa information right here on this dashboard. Next option is your wiring. Um, now this pretty much dumbs it down for you. Um, if you've got any do-it-yourself skills, you should be able to look at this, figure out the wiring, hook everything up. Of course, this is the six bar map sensor. The I'm not sure what the bar map sensor is in the Audis, but I don't believe if you're running a big turbo project and you're pushing close to 30 PSI, I doubt that the stock map sensor is cutting it. So that's what we got right here. We've got your main connection for your water methanol pump. That's the one that's included, the 200 PSI. Battery connection right here. And right here it says auxiliary. We'll scroll down a little bit. Which is your optional fuel pump. So like I was talking about with my Deutschworks 300 in the tank, that's that right there and you'll be able to log the duty cycle, control that, and get the most out of a secondary fuel pump or secondary methanol pump. It, it all depends on really what you, what kind of setup you want to run. If you want to do multi-port injection with this thing, it's very capable. Um, next we've got a connector pinout. It's going to tell you your colors of your connectors, wires, things like that, descriptions of them, and it's going to explain them you're go walk you through the instructions why you need them and you know it pretty much just outlines it all calibration overview is right here and it should tell you how to calibrate everything what's on your dashboard what's going to pop up and this setting right here is additional settings so this will tell you how to do your rpm scaling um, some of your debugging uploading the firm, firmware, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and, of course, support. So if you guys have any questions, shoot me a PM. I'm Draclore on Audizine.com. Uh, shoot me an email. It's Shane Drake at Air Force at gmail.com. And um, hopefully we can, you know, see some more updates, some more available things that this can, thing can do in the future. Um, I know that there's some things in the works. And, uh, you know, hopefully soon we see people pushing their builds to the limit. All right, guys. Have a good night.